iOS will surprise us with some long awaited AI features as well as some utilitarian accessibility feature and more and there is a plethora of devices which this iOS will gonna support and let's find out in today's video. Let's start with the talk of the town, AI features. So first is voice memo transcription. Imagine using your iPhone to record any lectures or a meeting and then having it automatically transcribed into text. That is what voice memo transcription is all about. Second is photo retouching. Tired of pesky photo bombs? Well, with this AI powered photo retouching, you will be able to remove objects from the background, move things around or even change the color according to your preferences and make the picture Perfect. Third, on device AI search. Finding your stuff on iPhone is about to get way faster and more accurate. AI will supercharge search across the entire device, understanding natural language and digging into more apps to get you exactly what you want. And fourth, AI generated emoji stuck in just a text conversation and cannot find the right emoji. No worries. AI generated emojis will suggest perfect emojis based on what you are typing. Fifth, automatic reply. AI will be your email and messaging BFF, generating smart replies and suggesting you at the right time. Of course, you can always review and edit the suggestions before hitting the send up button so that you are always in control. And on sixth, Safari is getting a brain, so be ready for a better, smarter web browsing experience. AI will improve web searches, giving you relevant results and even give you quick summaries of web pages you visited. And finally, Siri is getting a personality. Siri is about to ditch its robot talk. And with AI, Siri will have more natural sounding conversation, understanding of request and will respond like a true human being. And next is smart summaries. Are you also tired of information overload? Well, with iOS 18, AI will summarize web pages, emails, messages, and in fact, notifications as well. Apple Music is also getting a booster shot of AI with AI powered features like smooth music transition, as well as auto generated playlists based on your mood and, of course, the time of the day. Get ready for smarter presentation and documents because keynote pages and numbers will also benefit from AI features for creating slides and texts. And lastly, shortcuts. Siri and Shortcut are becoming one ultimate power couple. Siri will integrate better with shortcuts, allowing you to automate tasks with much more ease. And now that we have talked about AI features which are rumored, not concrete, let's talk about some confirmed feature which Apple announced a few days back. And I'm talking about accessibility feature and in that first comes eye tracking. Eye tracking is a feature which Apple says will gonna utilize AI to let people with physical disabilities to navigate more easily through iPadOS and iOS. Music Haptic is another iPhone feature which company says is a new way for people who are deaf or hard of hearing to enjoy music on their iPhone. The Taptic engine in the iPhone will play taps, textures and of course refine vibration to the audio of the music and it is needless to say that this function, this feature will only work with Apple Music. Another feature is Vocal Shortcut which lets you set custom utterances which Siri will understand and will launch a shortcut or will complete a complex task. Another accessibility feature is vehicle motion cues. It will use sensors built into iPhone and iPad to recognize if the user is in a moving vehicle and will respond accordingly by animated dots on the edges of the screen representing change in the vehicle motion. This will help people who suffer from motion sickness. Finally, let's talk about some features which we were waiting for since ages. So first and foremost, yes, my friends, all the iPhone users, you can rejoice because now you can customize your home screen. Forget fixed magnetic home screen layout because iOS 18 will allow you to arrange app icons freely on your home screen. And not only that, it will also allow you to change the color of the icons giving you a total personalized look. Another exciting feature coming to iOS 18 is support for RCS messaging. This will allow iPhone users to send high resolution photos and videos to Android users as well as enjoy features like improved group chat and of course read receipts. So now you must be wondering which iPhone models will gonna support iOS 18. I'll tell you but if you like what you are seeing then make sure to press the like button and let YouTube know that we are doing some good work. So as far as device compatibility goes, iOS 18 will gonna support iPhone 15, 14, 
13, 12 and 11 series as well as XS and XS Max with XR in between and lastly it will also support iPhone SE second and third generation. So now let's answer the question of the R. When can we see iOS 18 on our devices? iOS 18 will be previewed at the Worldwide Developer Conference on June 10th. After WWDC, iOS 18 will roll out for developers for testing purposes. And soon after that, in July, we will get public betas. But as far as the stable build goes, it will be released in September with new iPhones. So guys, you need to wait a bit longer for the stable iOS 18 release. But what you can do instantly is, of course, subscribe to iGeek's blog for updated Apple content. And of course, press the bell icon so that you get notified each time when we upload a video. And do let me know in the comment section which iPhone model you are using. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada, see ya. Bye, bye, guys.